Here are 10 things I wish I knew before playing Texas Chain Massacre. 1. If you start the match, you are hanging down a rope. Just smash that button very fast to get loose and don't worry about alerting the family just yet. You can also hold the button, but it will be very slow in comparison and not worth the effort. Same thing can be said for opening your first toolbox. As long as you're getting there fast, just spam the button until you get what you need and hide after the fact. Even when you're trying to escape, it can sometimes be beneficial just to spam certain blocked entry points so that you can fit through just in time before losing your life. But when you're not in a rush, just be careful because they will find you. Number 2. This heart you see here gradually decreases over time. Meaning you cannot endlessly hide, even though very tempting when first starting out. When you begin a match, your health is constantly draining, even if you don't take any damage. Your condition will grow worse over time. And as if that wasn't bad enough, your heart has three colors. Red, orange and grey. Red means you're mostly fine, although your health will tick down slowly. As the red empties out, your heart will turn orange. Once this happens, the victim will lose health at an accelerated rate. The most dangerous thing happens when the heart grays out. If this is left unchecked, the victim collapses and it will need some extra time to get back on its feet. Number 3. Bone scraps can be found in piles of bones on the ground spread across the property. When you've acquired bone scraps, all you need to do is locate grandpa and stab him by pressing the action button. Doing this won't kill him, but it will temporarily stun him, preventing him from using this ability and leveling up for a short amount of time. Just be ready to run because the family will be notified that someone hurt him the second you attack him. Number 4. The other option is to use the bone scrap on them from the front. This initiates a struggle requiring properly timed button presses. And if successful, the family member can be stunned. If not, well, you'll probably end up back on Leatherface's meat hook. Additionally, the bone scraps can be used to cut down noise traps and make things tougher for the family. Don't forget, these items can only be used once, but you can carry two. Number 5. The screen flashing yellow and red just means one of the family members is nearby. Don't worry, at first everyone thinks it means they've been seen and start panicking, making it easier for the family to kill you. Number 6. Panicking in this game is a big part of the fun, so enjoy the game. But hiding gets easier the longer you play. Sit in bushes, hide behind things or just run and outmaneuver them. You have these cracks in the walls where most can't follow you and you can jump over these obstacles too. Going back and forth creates time for you to hide again or lose them. Number 7. Use the perks this game offers. You can select your skill tree and acquire the intuition perk. If you then grab an item to escape, the next step will highlight, making it much easier to navigate under stress. And here, the game lays out the way for you. And once you've done it multiple times, you can replace that perk with something else, since you now know how to escape yourself. Number 8. You can select a character if it has not been chosen yet. So if you're fast, you can always play the character you want. If the character you've leveled is chosen, you can even ask them to change the character, to which they can accept or decline. Number 9. Another great perk is Tool Tracks, making the toolboxes highlight for 30 seconds after escaping the restraints from the beginning. Once again, if you've learned where they are, you can swap out this perk again. This one is especially handy, since you need these for opening doors. And if you find a toolbox, you're set for when you actually find that locked door. Don't forget, you can grab two, so if you're going to need more, just take some with you for later. Number 10. As a family member, press up on the D-pad to see where all your friends are. In this way, you can communicate much easier when there is a victim nearby. Or when you're chasing one down. I can't tell you how much I wanted to communicate to a team member that there are here, but where is here if you cannot see it? And lastly, as a little bonus, each character has their own set of skills. In this game, it's measured with toughness, endurance, strength,
proficiency and stealth. Want to open doors quicker? You'll need points in proficiency. Okay. More health? Toughness it is. Want to spend that button on everything without filling up the noise meter right away? You'll need more stealth. When you're specking your skill tree with points you've earned, you'll see these extra attribute points, which you can then use for plus one on each of the skills mentioned.